should have an ugly off. Who, drop in the comments below who's more ugly. Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my recorder of the World Wide Web. We're starting off this video with Starbucks. Woo! Mark's quite standard. Maca frappuccino, lappuccino, lappa, blue, blue, blue. And I'm trying out something new. I'm trying out the strawberry and vanilla oat latte. Let's try it out. Quite discriminatory, they refused to make a vegan berry chocolate burst. Oh, that's good though. They refused to do it. Oh, I saw Susan tried one of these. Shout out Susan. Susan Boyle? No, she's a YouTuber. And ever since she tried it, I was like, right, I need to need to just go get one and try it. <laughs> it's our six year anniversary. Well, it was actually two days ago, but we've been together for six whole years. I didn't have gray hair six years ago. <laughs> You did. So today we're going to Edinburgh, we're going to vlog it, and we're going to live our old student uni life for 24 hours. To Edinburgh we go. Swag. Two seconds into driving and this, this is what our day is looking like so far. Hello, we have landed in Edinburgh and it is raining still. It was blue skies for a very short period of time and now it's, now it's raining again. First stop. Burrito. Burrito. Are we surprised? No. Look, now the sun is shining like the rain didn't happen five minutes ago. That's Scotland for you. The burritos are acquired. Can you tell which one's Mark's? Mine's is the chungus. I got veggie haggis and peppers. Chicken and haggis. Sorry, I just need to show you it again because look at that guacamole. Right, so I'm just sitting here, eating my burrito, having a good time. I look up, and what do I see? F***ing mess. You monster. Why have you taken it out of the foil? <laughs> because I accidentally ate foil. This is the behind the scenes that Katie doesn't let you see about. It's kind of out at the bottom. Look at the state of this thing. You better oh, eat all that guac. I'll just pop it back on see you. Oh my god. This is the worst thing I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. <laughs> I wish this was an outtake, but this is just Kay's life. <laughs> okay, we've made our way to Brewdog. He's Jane. And I've got a punk star martini. Cheers. Mark's lost. Lost lag. Wow. Hey girl, hey. We're currently at the hotel. Oh my goodness, this is not very stable. What this Bit is like not. your life. We're at the hotel. Do you want to show them our little drinky pools? Oh. We're in the capital, so obviously we had to get something pretty bougie and extravagant. So we got three cans of dragon soup venom. We've never actually tried these before. Yes. But they sound quite good. They sound like rocket fuel because we are reliving our student days. It's caffeinated as well. Caffeinated. So, so we've only got three because we're drinking responsibly because any more than that is dangerous, in my opinion. But this is actually a top tip. If you're at university and you're needing any energy, Red Bull has 32 milligrams per 100 litres. A dragon soup has 35 milligrams per 100 litres. So you're better off having a dragon soup. I don't think that's good advice. That is very good advice. Okay. You'll be more caffeinated. <laughs> it does have a lot of alcohol in it also, but... 7.5%? Actually. Not suitable for children. I mean, duh. Shall I do a taste test? Oh yeah, let's do a taste test. Hold on. <laughs> We're currently sharing one seat. You can only afford the one seat upgrade in this hotel. <laughs> We're in the bougiest hotel of all. Oh, it looks like a venom. I'm you're oh god, you're... <laughs> Why did you open his legs? I need to get a new small tripod because this small tripod is not good. Right, it should be stable. It looks a bit squinty. Okay. <laughs> but the seat is not sturdy at all. Don't. Cheers. Here's to six years anniversary. That is terrifying. <laughs> that just tastes like juice. I'm not even that kidding. That tastes like an energy drink. That's quite good though. Thumbs up. That would be good in like slushy version. Ooh. We walked past a place that said Tango Ice Blast Venoms. For people that are not from Scotland and have not had the Tango. pleasure of a, ble a venom. Is it a Scot? Oh. A venom is that a is, Scottish thing? Yes. Ah. A venom is a blue wicked mixed with Southern Comfort, vodka and orange juice. And it is so good. It is so good. So we might go to that place later because that bar was actually close to here. It's called Pilgrim's. Cool. Cool. Um, we're gonna get ready now. Our deuglifying. We're gonna make this turn into to this. We know we've unuglified ourselves, kind of. Yeah. Are you allowed to say that these days? I don't know. I attempted to put on eyeliner for the first time in a while. Cute, slay. 
Do you want to do an OOTD? What does that mean? Outfit of the day. <laughs> I'm wearing a top and trousers and shoes. We're having our soup. And then we have table tennis books. It's going to be a disaster. Uh, Katie is going to be so bad. I don't think he realizes, but I'm actually Can't a table tennis champion. But I'll enjoy it. Wholesome competition. What's the thing? You're competitive and I'm not. I just like to be involved. You know? Just like to be at the house. That's why I've got to let him win, guys. Or Left. <laughs> That's why I pretend to be bad. Pretend. <laughs> oh, oh, Z Z. What do you mean? You look cute. My jacket is too mountainous. Okay, to ping pong we go. You having fun there, Mark? Yeah, so table tennis. Table tennis was actually so much fun. I would highly recommend going to Lane 7 Edinburgh. I do believe they also have Lane Sevens in Aberdeen as well, if you're from there. And Newcastle as well, I think. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, I was really great as it was, we can see right here. And so was Mark. <laughs> this is so awesome. Yeah, I think we began rallying it and then we actually started playing properly. And here's a compilation of me hitting the ball far too hard. I was just getting used to it, guys. I was just getting used to it, you know. I'm still hitting the ball too hard. Yeah, this compilation goes on for a bit. But you know, practice makes perfect and I did get into the swing of it. But sometimes swung a bit too hard, you know what I mean? See, this is alright. This is progression. Oh, look at me. I got a point. Why? 16-8. Oh my god. I'm catching up. Round two, baby. No. Got another rum and coke. No. Bye. So Mark won the first game. Katie won the second game when I was playing left-handed and she was the only one that was allowed to serve. I won the second game, guys, because I'm a pro. There were slight handicaps in the second game, but we'll forget about Nope, I won the second game. <laughs> so this was the point of the day. I'm not very sure how and I'm not very sure why, but I start getting some really good shots in. So pretty much long story short, I am now a professional table tennis player. Like, I'm sorry, look at that speed, look at that skill. Yes, those reflexes. Mark was getting very frustrated by this point. I think he realised what he was in for. He was like, damn, I'm up against the next table tennis champion of the world right here, right now. I just can't handle it. <laughs> and what's that I see? Oh, it's just me winning another game. I won again! I was playing left-handed, FYI. Yeah, yeah. Some ridiculous shots from Katie, which questionable if they were meant or not, by the way. Very questionable. Table Terrace is some part skill, uh, some part luck. <laughs> the verdict is in. I am the champion. Doubt. <laughs> Severinos. Potatoes. I got the boozy slush of the day. I got a beer and Moretti. Ooh, this is a slushy limoncello. I'll give you some ASMR. Lovely. Perfect pint. It's like sherbet. Lemon sherbet. Oh my god, that's like sherbet bonbons. It's very good. In their drink. Holy, that is good. Mark got a, what did you get? Fresh Prince. I got vegan day tripping. It looks very good. Hi. We're in our favourite establishment. Spoons. Yeah. What's our thought of the day? Do you have a thought of the day? Why would we have a thought of the day? Our thought of the day is... So, do we not need to create a system where when we're walking along the pavements, there's slow people on the left and fast people on the right? Because how annoying is it? When you're walking along and you're trying to get somewhere and there's slow people everywhere. There should be lanes. There should be see in the same way that there's car lanes for overtaking, there should be people walking at the speed limit, but then overtaking lane for fast people to overtake people on the speed limit. Mark's thought of the day. I don't know if you can see that. It looks like it is raining slash snowing quite profusely outside. And by the way, we're still in weather spoons. That reflection you see right there. Is, that's me! That's no, it's weather spoons. They can see you now. No, they can see. No, they can. Hello. <laughs> Me, fun. Um, we had big hopes and dreams of going many different places, but not anymore. But it's definitely gotten worse. In the last three seconds, it will be fun. We might just stay here forever. Can you see that? 
Wow, the sun was shining like six hours ago. Wow, can't wait to walk home and nap. It's chip time. From Pizza Paradise. Oh, if you yeah. know what you know. Are they good? They are really good. Okay. Good night vlog. We'll see you in the morning. We're getting bubble. So I got a bubble tea. I got the tiger tea, which I think is like the brown sugar one I had in London. Mark wants to pop it. One. Two. What? Oh, I gotta look crazy. It's windy. By the way, it is the next day. I look <laughs> crazy. That's okay. Bobles. Is that good? You're eating bobles already. <laughs> is it good? You look so it, happy. Do you want me to try it? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Have you ever had bobles before? I've never had tea before. Do you like it? Did you say bad or good? Weird. It's weird, isn't it? But it's fun. Why is it so sticky? Bobas are stuck all over my teeth. I'm still eating bobas. Mark is still chewing bobas. Nice. We got a very large one. I will say it's not as good as the one I had in London, but it's pretty good. I just like the caramelly balls. Would you have that again? They're really going all out on the um, science here. Average level of thinking juice required to solve Einstein's relativity equation. That's pretty fun though. Imagine if it's more flavorful and it's really nice. As we were drinking my bubble tea, we've been sitting opposite. Katie just talked herself into one. <laughs> being like, no, I don't want one. Just, <laughs> sitting opposite this new burrito place called Tortilla. And we're like, you know what? We'll give it a try. Because you know us, we love a burrito. I effing love burritos. But we feel bad for trying Bonnie burrito. Yeah, but we thought... Sick. So this better be good. We were gonna get a Shay's. Shout out to Shay. I just got a vegetable one because they didn't have, they had like chili, but. I had to pay like so much extra for chili and guacamole. Yeah. This is why we like Bonnie burrito because you don't have to pay extra for guacamole. Yes. The guac is, to be fair, it gave me absolute loads of guac. I got us both beans. Taste this. Did you, you know, see the jalapenos by the way? They were like diced jalapenos. It was so weird. It's mm. good. I think Bonnie burrito is better. I don't think anything could be Bonnie burrito. The grillage looks quite nice. It's so blurry. Why is it so blurry? The verdict is, it's quite, it's very tasty, the guacamole is very nice. It's good, but not as good as Bonnie Burrito. Not as good as Bonnie Burrito. Got my free coffee noodle. We're back in the car. We're away to drive home. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. <laughs> Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. I love you all. As always, it's been a pleasure. And we'll see you in the next one.